host of Cornerman Radio Live with Barzini and Box and I. Keith Thurman versus Victor Ortiz, May 19th at the Barclays Center. I feel like that's why Victor Ortiz never got a loss on his record, another loss on his record, because they wanted to serve him up to Keith Thurman. That would be a person Keith Thurman would love to take. He's a softball as as well, so he can work on another softball. And it's a name, a name, movie recognition name. So I don't know, but I think this is a f- easy smoke for Keith Thurman. Really easy. Really easy. But I was impressed with Victor Ortiz because he didn't get demolished by Devin Alexander. That's what I was so impressed of. I was so impressed. I mean, he didn't. He lasted every round. And he did try. He did put in a good effort. But he did get outpointed a majority of the rounds. But Keith Thurman, man, like I said, man, one time over here, team one time, my favorite fighter right now, number one. Uh, I don't really see nobody being Keith Thurman right now. You get a full 100% Keith Thurman, all health, and in the prime and active Keith Thurman. I don't see nobody beating Keith Thurman. So I I can't wait to see this fight. Um, But let's see, man, because Keith Thurman has been been a little bit unpredictable lately. But what's your take on this? The only thing I – if this fight – the fight's in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. And Victor Ortiz, he does still have a good fan base but it's more on the West Coast, L.A., you know, San Antonio, Mexican fans. If they don't, New York fans are a little too smart, you know. If they do put it in Brooklyn, I'll be just scratching my head a little bit because unless they got a stacked undercard, I don't think it does that well. I mean, out West, though, if if Thurman was scheduled to fight on the West Coast, I'd be thinking Victor Ortiz is a real opponent. So that's the only reason why I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm still doubting that it's going to be Victor Ortiz, even though you bring up a lot of good points. And if it is Victor Ortiz, you know, like you said, he's a southpaw. You know, maybe people will be like, all right, Thurman's playing the southpaw. I'm going to get vamped up for the real southpaw that he's going to be looking to fight in Errol Spence one day. But, um, it's a name. It's interesting. It, it brings some type of intriguement, at least, you know, to the fight. Man, you know, I, I gotta say, Thurman's going. Thurman will smoke him out of there. It really, I mean, it's an opponent for him to tag up, touch up, and make sure his um, power is still there. Everything's there, because. If he can't knock out Victor Ortiz, get him out of there, or have the ref stop it, then there's some type of serious problem going on with Thurman. Maybe he's not fully recovered. So, you know, you definitely if it's the right, if it's the real Keith Thurman, he'll blast Thur, uh, Victor Ortiz out of there just like Colazo did a few years ago. But that's all I got. 